In just a few minutes, I'll show you how to scan, flood, trace, and even check system uptime using HPing3, all with real CLI examples. Let's start with port scanning. I'll show you my target device, which in this case is Metasploitable and has been set up in VirtualBox. You can use other virtualization software course and any other target. I now have the IP address of my target device. Using the HPing3 hyphen hyphen scan, this command scans TCP ports 1 through 1024 on the target IP. The S flag sends in packets, mimicking a TCP handshake. It can bypass certain firewalls, in this case, shows all open ports for potential exploit. Next, a SYN flood test. To show the effects of a SYN flood, we can open Wireshark to demonstrate this. Start the capture within Wireshark. But clicking the capture, start button, then just leave this running. With the capture on, head over to your CLI and input the ping3 command, ready for the denial of service. With the command hping3, hyphen s for sin, hyphen b for verbose, followed by the port number 80, flood and sin parameters. This sends packets as fast as your system allows, overwhelming the target's TCP stack. As you can see in Wireshark, once I execute the command, the number of packets being generated goes wild into the hundreds of thousands in fact. This technique is extremely powerful and this will slow down or even crash the target system. For the last, a neat trick for estimating system uptime. Using the hping3 hyphen hyphen timestamp command, this leverages the TCP timestamp option to estimate how long a system has been running. It's not 100% accurate, but a clever recon technique used by pen testers. One stop, the command output shows system uptime. As you can see, it isn't always accurate. As always, remember this technique is for education purposes only, so do not try in public. Thanks for watching today, and there are plenty more techniques on our channel to learn from. Stay for the next video or continue with the playlist. See you next time.